So I'm Paris and I'm the founder of Picky Eaters. I'm a mother of three and my business was inspired by my oldest daughter. Growing up, all she wanted was fried nuggets, pizza and junk food. I took responsibility as a mother realizing, wait, I'm the one that gave it to her in the first place. So I introduced healthier meals and it was a complete fail as she often rejected to eat it, declaring, mama is nasty. But I was determined and I did years of research on health and nutrition techniques. I applied the techniques of making her favorite meals healthier, hiding veggies and turning her meals into fun food art. It worked. During my journey, I encountered so many mothers also wanting their children to eat better, but they were just too busy to fix it themselves. Some didn't even know where to start. So they often opted for fast convenient meals like McDonald's and Burger King, who often market to children. Fast food tastes so good, but it also causes children to prefer fatty meals over healthy meals. So they carry this habit into adulthood, but it cuts off 10 to 40 years of their life from diseases like diabetes, cancer, and obesity. That's why I opened up Picky Eaters, to be a healthy, convenient kids meal option. We turn our meals into fun food art that appeals to children. And we have vegan items and we never fry our food. We currently offer home delivery and daycare catering. All you do is go online. For home delivery, you pick your meal and what time you want it delivered. For daycare, you fill out a form for a free sample of our meals and eventually sign a contract for monthly delivery. We currently operate in the local St. Louis area within a 15 to 20 mile radius. Within this area, we have 300 daycares, 102,000 children, and I'm excited about the new addition of our baby food line that is worth billions in its industry once we expand. By introducing baby food, this allows our kids to grow with our meals, starting from babies and ending at young adults. It also offers options for mothers with multiple kids at different ages. Other places that mother shops for uh, fast, convenient meals could be Whole Foods that has frozen healthy kid meals or drive throughs like the Panera Bread Company. I have an amazing local team that I work with and combine their professionals in the kid and health food industry. By the end of this year, I plan to have contracts with at least 20 day daycares, have our fresh local baby food launched and begin the process of planning Picky Eaters Kids Cafe. Within the next 10 years, our brand will, be, will consist of our cafes franchised around the world, located in neighborhoods and family friendly destinations like the zoos and museums. Our baby food will be shipped worldwide with a special target on the African American community who's on the community who's finally becoming more health conscious, but we're often left out of the healthy uh, food market target. I'm asking that you help us give meals with meaning. We're raising 400K, but for every 1,000 we raise, we partner with kid focused nonprofits to donate our healthy food kid meals. It takes a village to raise our kids, and I hope you all can be a part of the village to raise our next generation healthier. Thank you. Paris, this is really a hot idea. I love it. Uh, I think you really hit on something, and I love your big vision. <laughs> okay? Thank so you. So even though you're working in one market, you see yourself uh, portraying and selling and uh, throughout the world and having your own restaurants. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm all in. The vision's really wonderful. Uh, Thank you. But let's talk about the next, you know, 12 months. What is it that uh, uh, you're looking to expand? What's your plan, your marketing plan to expand into those uh, daycare? Great question. So right now we have uh, two contracts and I've already talked to the daycares where we did uh, kind of like a sample. We did some events and we did a presentation. They loved it and we just cold call the daycares. I call and I say, hey, this is what we're doing uh, because I'm starting off, you know, I'm more, this is my new entry that COVID led us to. So COVID sucks, but it also had its benefits um, that I never thought about with, uh, you know, daycare. So we cold call and uh, we start off with a presentation in the in the kids room and we'll say this is you know an example of what we'll do this is how your meals will look going forward and this allows me to build relationships and uh, also word of mouth so we currently have two contracts with daycares and i plan to hopefully do word of mouth and then also continue cold calling and end this year with 20 more daycares thank you paris um where are you located where is your located so we're located uh, within a county within St. Louis. So the area okay. is called Florissant. That's where okay. I'm 
actually located in Florence, and that's where our uh, commercial kitchen is. Thank you. I'm from St. Louis. Oh, you are? Oh. That's a um, loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I, I think this is a great idea. I understand the market. I understand why it's relevant. Um, I'm, I'm curious with regards to the new baby food that you have added to your line of products, how do you see that fitting into your expansion plans relative to what it is you're doing as you onboard more daycares? Great question because I am so excited about uh, the baby food. I have a, um, a new baby and some, well, he's one now, but anyways, I make his foods every day or I make them every other few days and we make them, I make you know everything fresh. And um, I post them on my Facebook and that's just what I do for fun. And I've gotten so much feedback just from so many parents that started to inbox me. Can you make my, can you make my baby? Can't, you know, do you make it? And I, you know, I never thought about it because I was so focused on the more of the, you know, food, food art. And, and then, you know, it made me think during, and I started doing that during COVID. So that was another advantage of COVID. Um, so it made sense, like add baby food line. They can, because it's all about capturing kids at an early age. So if we can actually capture them at six months where it actually really begins, they can graduate from the baby food line, go into our toddler meals. And then we also offer just, you know, regular meals that's not in food art. Um, and this allows them to grow with us. We um, I thought about for the daycares that we do, um, we can also offer that as an extended service to the daycares as well. We can offer baby food um, and then also just on our website where they can uh, grow and um we also, the mothers that I've delivered to for home delivery, they've really requested prepackaged meals that we are now considering. And um, we can also just make that a part of our system. So we're actually just trying to figure out where's our area to shine now that so many requests are coming in on you know areas that we can venture into. I hope that answered the question. <laughs> and it did, thank you very okay. much. I, I think your idea is outstanding and what really, what I think sets you apart, if I think about uh, certainly the home delivery element, is the fact that you're putting forward a solution for the full family. So if you have a family that has to feed you know, a wide range of age of children, that you're able to give them the full solution. And it's not just for one of the children, and then they have to still source and prepare meals for two more. Um, so I think that's really, really unique. And you should definitely distort your communication about that, that proposition. Um, I had a, a more tactical question around, is everything fully cooked and ready to serve, or is there any involvement on the part of the parents to, to finish the meal? So that's another great question that has you know two uh, parts to that. So right now we do home delivery and it's next day order. So uh, they place their order and uh, we, you know, we can do any prepping that we do that day and the next day uh, we prepare it in a timely manner that by the time that we deliver it to their doors it is fully uh, fresh warm and hot ready for them to eat now this is a great you know it's been great but we've also had mothers that have um they've ordered multiple so they don't just order one they're ordering like this and this is what i've been learning they're ordering like four or five meals at a time with the goals of their child eating it for lunch and then eating for dinner and then the next day lunch and dinner and the next day um and i've gotten feedback like oh the portion size are the portion sizes are great but uh you know one portion they can eat it for lunch and dinner so that allows that makes the other meals that they're saving for the other days uh they you know have to figure out how to hurry up and eat them so they don't go to waste so they, that's why they ask for prepackaged meals or kits um where will deliver it and they can just put it together themselves, like the food art and the fun and save it for later, later where they can just do it themselves or, oh, sorry, or we can just um, continue to do the home delivery. So it kind of, you know, where we just deliver it fresh. So we're actually just trying to see majority mothers, what are they asking for? Um, or maybe even doing both options. But right now we just deliver fresh hot meals and we're thinking of doing kits where they can just put it to the, together themselves. Vote for your favorite pitch by visiting www.sheraise.com. Select a city, enter the donation for the pitches you love, and don't forget to leave feedback and or hype comments for our founders.